for me today it's not easy so i want to talk uh, history about uh those states where i come from uh, uh you know somebody got to do it we have to make the whole world know more about our history because some people who are from those states they came to social media started lying because they want to lie well there is no need of lying about the history of where you come from I'm so very happy the white man brought out education so that those of our forefathers were able to explain and most of all those of our history were, were documented. Today I want to talk about the history of Benin. The Benin, you see, the name Benin and how it all came, how it all came to that place where we are. But before I start with I have to first of all use my language to talk uh, one history. Uh, if you know you are from Edessa, Edo State, or if you know you hear our language, please uh, share this video. I will use English to also interpret it. He said, Oba Onya Toya said, We boy say now Oba na I get land from here. Ebo, Ebo, Ebo is what we call whites. Whites, white man in our language. Oba onya to yourself. We say now oba na e get land from here. Go reach the land of the white men. Because our some of our people were being mumrise, brainwash, deceive, and their brain was being locked with key of as well. So let me tell you how the history come all about. Oba Bini didn't even own land where the palace is. Talkless of own, owning a land from here to abroad. <laughs> Which is very stupid. Let me tell you how the story started. Uh, no, you all know the Oba Bini is from a Yoruba land, from Ileife. So please, this is an history class. Listen attentively and invite your friends. Uh, there was a land called, there was a place called Ebo. It's a similar name that look like white, it's the same name. The name of that place is called Ebu. Where Ebu, the name of the village is in Airport Road in Benin. Nine Ebu, or Airport Road, Bedo. Ebu community. Erega Aro, Oba of Benin. Eba Zolora, no. Eba Nodoba, Eboga, Bilinya Yawa. So he was killing the people he met in the land to dominate and he want to expand and take over the land of present day Benin. You all know the Yoruba Benin is a Yoruba man. Their ancestors are from Yoruba. So when he came, he sent his fighters 
the aboriginal traditional king of that land refused to bow down before the Yoruba. He said he him is not a Yoruba man and he will never bow down to Yoruba man. A way a book, if you do where do looking at a, a book community report truth. Obana gear even here in a yagbewa. He sent people to that place. They kill that man, they cut the head and bring the head. You know, the Oba Abene is, is an, is a, their history, they are, they are all their history is about committing genocide so that they can survive. The only way they can survive is horror. So, Oba, on a given, eh, eh, community it did not the boy was talking about was a boy community the name of the village in airport truth it doesn't mean it was talking. it didn't say they no say because of illiteracy oba onya to ya se ewe ibu ye wo me yata Oh, honey, when they ask you, no way. I'm not here. A way, a boo, the sap, the the pot roots. A number of banana could tell you, but Rena will a mania do a way. Who are they ask you, no? Oh, give boo. Who give what I say? Only do a dim boo, do I say? I know. Oh, banana, on a way, a moon boot, no bag of war. Oh, banana, give. I will you, but no, you can carry you to see for Portuguese and a buena, bang, be one enough, yeah. In a mugioba, a jubidi was a banana will care not, but you win ya utoya say a wibu a way a boo. So, if you understand what I'm saying now, that is the history of that stupidity they have been saying about Oba owns land from here to a boo. A wibu, idiots, idiots, foolish people. <laughs> you see the way I'm, I want to teach history concerning my state now. Because of those horror, those genocide, the Oba we, we he was committing genocide in those days. Those genocide, the fear and the horror, you can see nobody can write comments. They are so scared of the Oba, even though we even have a governor who is an educated man. The people are so scared. I want to, before I continue the history, I want to show you some of the evil atrocity demonic actions of the oba of benin before i tell you where they come from let me show you one of their video if you if you speak if you speak you know sometimes somebody can criticize Buhari or criticize Donald trump if you criticize him they will kill you a man, they, I want to show a video now. There was a man. This man is an old man, about 70, 70, 70, 70 years old. They were they were having a land dispute. They went to the palace. And this land, this land belongs to government. This is a government reserve. When they went to go, the land is in Ugoni, Okoriaman. It's a local government. It's a government reserve. When they went to this very, this very, uh, this very Oba of Benin, this very evil, this de demonic, rapist Oba of Benin. When they went to his palace, the government that man get up and told the Oba of Benin, said, look, this land you you are they are talking about now is a fed is a state government reserve. This land is being owned by states. That what they are doing there is to put the land on rent and call and call it. Oba of Benin said government doesn't have land that him is the one who owns all the lands. A criminal, he, he, he passed out. He said he owns the land. The man opposed you. He said the man said the truth. They have gold, oil, and different resources in that land. Oba Bini have taken possession of land that doesn't belong to him. Government that and those state there, those Bini people, their future is dead. See, I am telling you, time is coming. Those Bini people they will not exist again. Majority of them are the most coward and stupid people. You ever seen the history of this world the fear and the horror they have placed on them that is why you don't see any of them progressing it is difficult before you can see a minimal who's progressing that's why you see people don't marry from them 
they are so scared because these people, their brain have been. I know say all of us are stupid, but majority of us are the most cowardest human being we ever see in the history of humanity. Let look up. Your Babini can kill, do anything he wants. You see, these this animals they will come out and say, You live long ago in this in the 21st century. Look at what happened to this man. Let me show you this video. For opposing for this man to have air his own view. Look at what they did to this very man. Look, this man is 78 years old man. For this man to have a his view about a government land, gov state government land. Look, they take this man to the inside the upper palace. If it were, if it were, also, if people were not there, they could have just killed this man. They naked this man. Of which this man is even seem older than this, this, this uh, rapist, this animal, this animal who is sleeping with his own sister, having children. The Oba Abini is not in news that he sleep with his own sisters and have children with them. Is it not a, is it not an, is it not an, a, a beast? That is a beast. You see what they did to this man, oh? A, if a grandfather or a great grandfather, this grandfather, this man, they naked him, they use him to engage his that is this in English is called trial by ordeal. They naked this man, they use this man to drink, force this man to drink oats. Those rich they use this man for ritual in, in the, this very devil about Bini Palace. After they are finished doing it, they were not even satisfied. The Obabini told them to video this man and they have to disgrace this man. God Almighty, people like us will continue to say the truth. I don't care whether you are a Fulani, you are Igbo, you are Yoruba. I will air my view. I'm not scared of any other person who want to say anything. But it will, it will be on history. Somebody have to do it. Look, just look at this man. Look at the man was saying, the man was saying, Oh my God, oh my mother, oh God, salut, God, God. Look at what. These foolish animals, they will take command and be defending stupidity. <laughs> the man is shouting, I'm dead, I'm dead. What do you want me to do? I'm dead, I'm dead. Anybody understand the language? I'm dead, what do you want me to do? Look at the way they were hitting this man, videoing, look at the nose, this very stupid about Benin, this animal, this rapists a rapist a man who rapes his own sister and have children with her is that not an idiot say you should not talk why why can't we talk you don't know <laughs> Charity begins at home. When I am talking, I have to start from my home. I don't. I am not a tribal he got. I have to say today. Let me bring out the history of the Benins. I want you people to know. Please share this video. 
you can see the comment now people are scared. When you talk, if you talk truth, if the Yoruba are being here, they will go out and destroy your house. They will do <laughs> Anytime you come to Nigeria, they will just use the Akotis group to kill you. <laughs> I understand. So I want to, please, uh, people that are watching at 217, please share this video. If you share it, let the world know the, the evil and the atrocity that is being perpetrated by this very lunatic cocaine addict. I am not saying what is not truth. Everybody knows in Benin that the Oba of Benin is a co the Oba Ewari II of Benin is a cocaine addict. His biography, he he was sent to school. I don't want if I if but the biography of this Oba is very smelling. Smelly. I don't know how to say that. I do short. So let us go to history. You know, uh, today. I want to tell you, well, let us teach the history of Benin. The history of Benin. If you see anybody say, oh, we are great Benin, we are great Benin. Don't fight that person. Don't fight him. Don't like, don't behave like good those Opita B supporters who are very hostile. Don't behave like that. Behave like Tinubu supporters. Behave like Atiku supporters who are not hostile in nature. Don't be, thank God Obi have denied them that he doesn't know them before. These are, these are, these are miscreants. So we are going to history now. We don't fight anybody. We must tell our people the truth. If you are familiar, if you have heard about Bini, Edo State, all these things you have been hearing, this is how it all started. The land called Bini today, it's surrounded by a very big moat. You know moat, big hole. The whole is called moats. According to history, it was in nature, maybe many years ago, there was a river. That place was an island. Then that was many years ago. Today, I am so shocked that the Oba of Benin is lying to the world. He said he's his great grandfather dig, dig the moat. My God, people are full of lies. He said they should go and write it in their Guinness Book of Records record that is uh, his grandfather by uh, Ogwala dug that very moat. There was never a time where is it? there was never a time anybody dig that type of moat. Lie will kill you. So uh, let me go to the history of Benin. In the history, in our history, the population of our people was concentrated around those Benin. That place is called Idu, Idu land. That is the name of that very place. Is well, that place was it consists of different ethnic group, clans, and we were having a king. The king we were having was called. The first king we have in our land was called Igudo. It go to meet padlock. Something have to do with key, key to the land. So that is how we are having a king. The king we are having in our land have no no similarity. We don't go to Ilife to 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 take anything from our become we can become have a king. We never have any historical link, uh, relationship with Ife. We don't. Our king was not from Ilife. Nothing like that. So we're having Ogisos, king. The second king of our land is called Ere. So we're having different king, many king. It, it comes to a time we have a king called Odo. You see these names I am measuring today. These names, we don't even know the meaning in our own language. For you to really know that in those days, Urubuma would be a king. Ibu Maui, they, they, it was rotation and they were rotating this kingship. There was nothing like Oba Abini become king from heaven. Those nonsense they are saying. We were having, we were, we were ancient people. In those days, we were not circumcised. We were uncircumcised people. This circumcision you see today, where you cut people, remove these this things, we never have this civilization. We were 
own civilized people. The type of civilization we're having was ancient civilization, Stone Age. We are called Idu in, in our history. When someone died, we carve a wood. That is our ancestors, to remember our ancestors. Enemy do. That is, enemy do. That is the, the god of Idu. That's why I play that music for years now. Utogbi Talaka and Abidu. The king, the, 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 the man Idu. It's our ancestor, which they have cleaned out from the history. The Yoba Abini is claiming that he is a very stupid idiot. So that is how our history came about. How the Yoba Abini came into our land, who is not even claiming ownership of river states. I'm so shocked. Yoba Abini is claiming. Is he, is he even claiming river states? Is he even claiming on each other? Claiming beyond. May God punish you for claiming those areas. It was not truth. This is how it also happened. In late 12th century to 13th century, there was a mass exodus of our people. Right? Even up to today, I will not see running away from home. This is how it all started, my ladies and gentlemen, our history. Please, if you are joining us, share it. Share it and God will bless you. Just listen to the history. So that if any stupid lay be no misblood, Trying to tell you they are the one who conquered Jamaica, slap him. <laughs> it's a liar. So this is how it all started. Around late 12th century to 13th century. 13th century, many years ago, about 700 to 800 years ago, there was a man called Oromino. Oromi, Oro, he, he, Him and his brother. The, they are, the two of them were a prince from a Yoruba land, prince from a Ilefe. So in our land, we don't have horse. Essin, Essin is a Yoruba word, which means horse. That is a Yoruba language. Oromiyo is the first people who brought horse to our land because we were ancient. So people say they come from Israel. We don't have any civilization to trace our, our ancestors to Israel. Because Israel, we are, the we were the Express Bronze Age. We never, we were not. This I to add this uh, Yoruba people came to our land. Though. This the Yoruba man is the king of Benin. That he changed all the name to Yoruba language, and there's some some fools. They are even insulting Fulani. What Fulani did, what the Fulani did in the north, in the with Amsa. It's even better than what the Oba of Bini did to us. I swear to the God of my ancestors, if I lie, let God punish me and my generation. What the Fulani did, did with the Hamsas, it was it, it, it is better. It is more better than what this pastor Oba of Bini did to us. I will not be because of that one to be insulting the Yoruba. I will not do that. This is how they came, the Oba of Bini and his followers came. Oba of Bini. And his brother, his elder brother, the, their names, the name of this Oromio is it, it was not Oromio. It is after I have succeeded in, in uh, our land, he, he now it was a nickname Oromi Oromiya Oromiyo. My destiny have arrived by creating, making his son the district uh, uh, ruler in one in some part of our land. So this is how Oromio came. Please share this video share this video share this video share this video we have 230 people that are watching please share this video so now we go to the history now there were two prints in ife if you see if you go to ife today they are seats the two of them they are the seats of two of them are is there in ife i want to repeat these two people I want to make sure their name there were two brothers one, if Eda brother is called Olubo Olu, Olubo Olu, Olu was the Eda brother to Prince Oromiyo. They were prince in Ife. So all of them came out. They want to expand and have different, different territory. That is how they came to Benin. 
Oromiyo was not his name. His name is called Oluaye. We did not call Sagbaye in Benin today. They call him Osagbaye. They, they, they are worshipping Osagbaye. That was Oluaye. That is the name of Oromiyo. In Noba Palace, of any time about that bastard is talking, he's talking uh, Osagbaye. The real name that is Orom the Benin people are worshipping Yoruba people, if I lie. And I will explain everything to you. <laughs> the Benin people, eh, not all of us, oh, they are the most stupid human being we have, that ever existed in the history of humanity. And he's stupid and they will tell you they are intelligent and they are the foolish people. No, not all of us. See, Oromio, the great, great prince of Ife, I'm calling him the great, he's a great man. So when he came, he and his brother, they came through the river. The river, you know, there was nothing like road from here to Ife. There is what he call Ose River that come from up, that flowed from the up. They now, then they came, they penetrated the place called Udo. The name still remains Udo today. There was a serious fighting between our, our ancient people. He do people we are do people we are fighting Oromio and his and his fighters. So Oromio brother, elder brother, he succeeded in carving his space for himself. The name of that place is called Ife Kekire. That is the elder brother to Oromio. If you go to Edo State, there is a place, a place called Usen. Usen U S E N. I, have you ever seen me insulting the Israel, Israel Highness, Ola uh, of uh, don't insult him. He respects their culture. Until tomorrow, <laughs> he's still respecting the Ife culture. Do you know what? When they came, the elder brother of Romeo find our women very beautiful. Ah, he like where, where he was. And they are Yoruba speaking. Tomorrow, they still maintain their Yoruba language. They don't. They don't throw it away. You know, people, I respect them for keeping their identity. Then they came to uh, uh, that our land. They don't call that. They call that place Ife Kekere. That was a little Ife, little Ife. So, as times goes on, they, before they not change the name from Ife Kekere to Usen, and I want to teach you the name how the name now become Usen today. People from Edo State will understand what I'm saying today. The, the name is called Usen. In our language, Usen. When Oromia left him, Oromia told him that he will be coming in for market this time. When he came, and he told his elder brother, which is Ola Wolof, who said that that name is called Ifekekire. All those villages around there, they speak Yoruba. They're Yoruba. <laughs> come from Yoruba land. When Oromia came, uh, he said, uh, ah, you just come. You see, uh, you speak. Uh, the man said, oh, you speak the language now. They were laughing. They, that is how they now named that place. Usen. That's Usiere. Usiere. That is we, uh, we see in the form for this time or five days time. That is how the name was named Usen. If Oba Bini want to, be, to become Oba, the word Oba is a Yoruba name. It's not our language. Even though they are trying to burn it, the word Oba is a Yoruba word. It's not our language. So, anytime the Oba Abini want to become an Oba, he must go to that is Eda brother Usen to take the royal blessing. Otherwise, if that his kingdom will be destroyed, he will never succeed. That is what is happening to him today now. He refused to go to Usain. <laughs> like, man, is it, they, 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 there was a there was a oath. There were oaths tied to all those things they did in those days. They they use oaths as an agreement. You know when we write a binding agreement, they will use oaths to do it. So the upper of Benin have refused to to go to that is your elder brother. Apart from refusing, in Edo State, Oba Abini is the one collecting the whole seven local government, 15, 15 million from each local government. His, his own elder brother, Oba Abini went to that the territory of that one, started dividing it for his, his family, his children. 
that that the territory of that one have been <laughs> have been carved to be small territory. <laughs> so let me step so stay away from there. Let us move to the Oromio. How these Yoruba people invaded our land and they are they are the one they have trying to claim. You know, the one of the Fulani, the Fulani came from uh, uh, what they call it, Senegal. Or what they call the uh, Futajalo. You see, they, they 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 wrote it on the history that they came. But they never said they are the father who gave birth to full Aousa. I, the Aousa full and is very clear. The full and their history is strict. But the upper opinion is, is not lying to the whole world that is the one who gave birth to Jamaica. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Lying to Suba. <laughs> so let us go straight to the history. Please share this video. If you are not sure, with 252 people are watching, share this history. Okay, now this is how it all happened. Though. Oromio move. They were fighting, serious fight. If you live in Edo State, eh, this Oba of Benin, all their history, historical sites are located around sea local roads. That is where all their history is. That is where Oromia came through. The first place Oromia penetrates was the present day. They call it Usi. You don't know Usi. The, the real pronunciation is called Iselu, Iselu. That is, if in Yoruba language, Iselu means the making of the king because that was the place he stayed when he was fighting fighting with our 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 king, Ogiso, Erebo. It was a serious war. So they came with horse, came with... When Oromio was coming, I forget to tell you that one. He came through a place called Udu. The job people, the fishermen, were the one who attacked him. It was this man, Ogifa, Ogifa, no more. There is a man called Ifa. You see, those Bini people, eh, they are, they are, they, see, eh, they are Mumu, eh, not all of us, eh, they are Mumu, this, it is smear, Mumu, this smear, follow many of them. Ifa is a native, is a native doctor in Yoruba land, Ifa. So anything that is great in our language, we call it. Lord, just like this, my shoe are Lord, though. that is, we call it Ogi. They now said, Oh, Lord, Ifa, that is what they call in our language, Ogifa. Ogifa, Ifa. Their palace is in a mission over there. That is how the Ifa priest used that is the medicine man, Ogifa, no more. Oh, he's the one who carried medicine. There is a charm. You know, they were fighting with charm and everything. You know, your people have charm in those days. Penetrated Udo, and they were coming towards. See, the name of our land is the name of the city, just like we have Abuja. The name of that city is called Igodomigodo. The name is named in that Igodomigodo is named after the first king of our land. Not the Oba Bini have came to change us and urbanize us. People are complaining that Fulan <laughs> are Fulanizing us. You don't know your history, go and check your history. Goods. If any Bini man is sorting Fulan, you know that Bini man is, a, is, an, is an idiot. Doesn't know what he's doing. Except the reasonable Bini people who are not so servant to Oba, they know what they are doing. Do you know what they did? They came. They came to that place. Ego. They, there was a serious fight too. One of our warriors his name is called Osenego. Ose. Osenego. Have you see the name? Osenego. Ose, you can see the name in Robo. In Ijo, in Inisha. Not Usa. Osenego. They penetrated, they captured his wives, his children. That one, be, that one surrounded to them. He was captured. The palace of that one is in a very close to uh what is in a gun, it's a local government. That is the route, the route the Romia came towards. There was a serious fight. So after Romi have captured the wife, the children, he now used that one as a bargain to penetrate our land. Listen, you know, the name of our city is named after. A king, the first king of our land, which may likely be an Ijo or an Igbo man. Igudo is his name. 
and they named the city after him, Egodo Migodo, key to the kingdom. That is the name. Okay, even the name of the land is called Edu, the name after a, a man. No, <laughs> land. Okay, do you know what they did? They they went, they came in after capturing one of our our warrior, which is called a uh, Osenego. It was not Ugigo. It was not, it was Osenego. After they have captured Osenego, Osenego, then uh, that one defected to their to their hierarchy as a sabu. <laughs> That's what they call Sabu. That one, they give that one horse. Essin. Essin is not our language. Essin, Golo, Golo. They give that one. Then they brought their, 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 some of their civilization, which is a, uh, in the evening, they will start wrestling. The wrestling, they will say, Gidibu, Gidibu. Gidibu, Gidibu is a Yoruba language. When you want to wrestle, wrestling, you will say gidigbo 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 it's a yoruba or that is yoruba where they are wrestling that is a yoruba so the oromi are staying in those the a place he built a house for himself that place is called aolo olo olo i don't know we don't know how to call their yoruba name very well olo but the Yoruba people may know how to call it very well because they are confusing us. <laughs> they are trying to form their own language, which is not going to work. You cannot change Yoruba history. Yoruba, Oromia was a great, great prince of Ife. It's not our son. So Oromio, the father of this very Yoruba man, who gave birth to this, this, this rapist Oba of Bini we have today. So Oromia move you know if you move from that river that of your river that that is where they came from then the first place you see you see our uh, uh, see there is a big small forest there now they see a tree i don't know if they are for that tree there is a small house there the house is still there i think the british burned that house when the british came they set fire on those houses they burned everything down so they rebuilt it again these evil people see they were using human sacrifice, human beef for sacrifice in that Awo, Awo law. Just ordinary house of Romia was staying. They were now using human being to make sacrifice, these bastard people. So when they did that, other things there. So Oromio moved. That was Oromio base. So Oromio raped the son of, the daughter of uh, the Osenego, a chief who we have captured. He raped his is uh what do you call it his daughter so he was sleeping with his daughter you know when you go like this you capture you take the you know just like what is going on in, in those bandits where they capture women they will sleep with them rape them you know that that is what happened in that in those days so oromio they move further they go down they was coming to you know the this, this current benin by the grace of God, if I'm if I'm still alive, I, I pray I will witness it. We are going to return the name of our city to Igudomigudu City. We are going to change the name of our land to the ancient names, not Yoruba names. Because that is why they are saying Edo is a Yoruba. We are no Yoruba people. The people that came from Yoruba land, they are not up to 1% of the population. They are not up to 1% of the population. So what they did, he wanted to captured our king he was coming down then he moved from Aulo, Olo, Aulo. that is his house in Use. then he moved to a place called uzama the place they call it called uzama that was asked post for our king in those days he captured that place uzama when he captured that place that place you see if you live in benin if you live in benin i want to draw your attention to this very this very place if you are um, coming to a Kenwa Road by Aba Market through there, you see Nyanga Market. Nyanga Market, that Nyanga Market you are seeing today, many years ago, it, that place was a uh, that place was a very deep moat. 
So Oromia was on top, behind, on top of the, that is the, the other side of the moats, just like an island. You, you are not able to enter the island, you've been in the other land. So Oromia was there. That place, they, they have a, a, a pen. if you are going to a Kenwan road, a Siloko road, there's a, a, a gap between Siloko road and a Kenwan road. They have Mobi Petro Station. I don't know if they have changed the name. By the right, you see the right traditional ground, there's a land there. That, those place was called Uzama, that's where Oromio stayed there. From there, he mobilized his medicine men, Ifa priest. Ihama, you know, Ihama came alongside it from Ife. Oni, uh, Edigi, uh, Oni, uh, Oni, you know, Niger Watch. That one that is doing Niger Watch in uh, that always insulting about Seki every time. That one <laughs> was a friend to Abad before. So, do you know that they are for their ancestor? The, let me make sure there are some of their names. Oni, Ihama, uh, Ifa, Ogifa, Ifa. The, 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 many of them, eh, they descended, they crossed the moats. Look, oh, listen to your history, don't be, don't be full. Oh. They crossed the moats in the night. They wanted to kill our king so that they can declare victory that they are not. Don't look at those foolish liars. They crossed the moats. You see, if you, if you are familiar with the terrain of Benin, Sokbomba Road, that name, that was not the name of that street, that road. The name of that road is called Utantan Road. Idwen Utantan. It's not Sokbomba Road. The reason why they are calling that place Sokbomba Road, I will teach you the history as, as we proceed, as we progress now. Sokbomba Road, that is only Oba can pass that road. That is, they change the name from Utantan. They, they just want to Urbanize us, change all our everything to Yoruba. And people are here complaining, say, Fool, I want to feminize us. Do you know what the Yoruba would is? <laughs> our land. <laughs> so, so when they went, they entered that place. You know, if you enter that very road, you are closer to the palace of the Ugiso. Eh? You see, when sometimes the Yoruba Bini said that he's the son of uh, Ugiso. How can, he said they invite him. How can they invite you? Where, where, where were you not sleep slain in our palace? So, the king they met when they came is called Ogiso Erebo. He joined to answer that name, Mirabo. Delta Igbo answer that name. He shall be to answer that name, Mirabo, Erebo. Even up to today, we don't know the meaning of the name. We are just only answering the name. Erebo, Erebo. A rabbo, they are the same name. It's your people. We one, one ancestral root is just they move. There was a serious fight. Let me tell you where the fights really took place. In front of that, if you enter, if you live in Benin, if you live in King Square of Benin, if you have been there before, there is a place called uh, Saint Matthew. They they were in those days the, the Saint Matthew Catholic Anglican uh, Aglic Church. There was a big tree there called Okbara. I don't know what they call Okbara in English. A big tree. There was a serious fight in that place. So, Oromio is a very strong warrior. Even go to Ife, they know him. He said, the, we are the one who gave birth to Duduwa. God will punish you. Which time do we give birth to Duduwa? It was Oromio who came to fight in our land. Oromio will move. He was very close to the palace of the Ogiso. We have the name of our Ogiso is our king. Oh, Bob Bini is not <laughs> our king. <laughs> you see, see, they, they were very civilized more than us. They didn't capture our king, but they, they penetrated us and they not use back door to enter house. They move. If you live in Benin, I'm telling you, Sokmumba Road, if you move from St. Matthew, you are already in a, there's a place called Unweru. Before the king that was in power, uh, the king who gave birth to the, that very king they fought with, the name is called Oudo. No, 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 no. It's not. It's called Evian. Evian. It's called Hogiso Evian. The, 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 the grave of that king. I, if I say it, maybe they go and excavate it. We are not the same people. 
the grave of that our, our king is if you enter there's a place called first is secular near that maguru college or redo college there is a shrine there that was where the king was being buried see vian shrine is there you know see when somebody died they buried it they call the shrine so the vian the king who was called a vian even Nobody know the meaning of a Vian. We cannot it maybe be that language could have been another another land, another tribe from another minority ethnic group today. With those who ran away. So a Vian was the one who gave birth to Erebo, the king they met. Our king is not hereditary. If you have three children, the, the most strongest one can be king, or they will give it to another uh, clan. That's how they were doing in those days. Those Yoba Abini say they are heriting it from heaven. They are liars. Nobody heriting anything from heaven. That is what what that was what happened. There was a fight, and the younger brother to to uh, to King uh, to the King our King uh, Eribo, his name is called uh, Ude, which they kill in say in our parable. I might say a cute baba. Magbe Uliya Ogiamie. He was the Uliya of Igudo Migudo, Idu land. He was the Uliya. Just like Uliya is just like the prime minister. A, a very big position. He was killed and he head was he was beheaded. I don't know if the head is in Ile Ifeo, because the Europe will have historical, all those things. It's very strong history. They, they beheaded him and killed him. So then there was a serious fight. Our people push Oromio back, push him out from the land. That land is called Igodomigodo. If you live in Benin, you see, for you to really know this Oba Benin, they are criminals. Why must you change our ancestral name to a Yoruba name if God will not punish that your ancestor in hellfire? Our king were able to push Oromio and his gang out from the the capital city, Godo Migodo. They pushed them out. Then the Oromia now decided to rest in a place called Uzama. He tried many times to kill our king. It was not possible for him. Then Oromio left that very place. Listen to our history. We are not Yoruba people, but we have mixed bloods. Those people that are misblood are called Ile Binu misblood, like the Oba and their gang. People that are following the Oba, majority of them are Ile Binu. Their name is called Ile Binu misblood. We are we are the we are the Godomi Godos. We are the Dus, the Ishan, the Robos, and many other tribes. We are the owner of that land. Not Oba Oba is a foreigner in that land, and it's a criminal. So during this fight. Oromio found it difficult, find it difficult to capture, <laughs> capture our king. It was not easy. So people were recruiting more men from towards those upper, all those, uh, what do they call this place? Uh, Oha, all those, I don't know. Those, well, I know the, but those days they have names they call those area. They tried, Oromia was pushed out from our city. Oromia was pushed back to his in-laws house. What is the name of that house? Uh, it's called uh, uh, Aolo. <laughs> Aolo Inuse. There was a house Oromia stayed. After Oromia have stayed that place, Oromia now move again. He moved from there. They're very close to this area. There is where they have their history. They are now using their history to come and say they are, they are the one who give birth to Onicha. God punish you and your stupid lies. That is where, where, where the... Who is this now? Okay, you could have allowed me to talk, Oga. Oga, sir. Let me first explain more of the you call him. Okay? So, look at what happened, oh. Prince Oromio, Prince Oromio, moved from that Aulo, that is the house. The house is still there. The British burned that house because they were using him and before sacrifice. That's why the British burned it. They, they now move from that Aulo. They now move to 
if you are going to, uh, you know, this this place were two river, not land. Though. They were moving from river to river with boats. So they move from a what do you call that place? Use. They now enter the river in that that uh, Godet. They move to a place called present day called Oha Oha Village. If you don't know the name of the village, I want to show you the village. The, if you are going to Ibinidia University, Okada, you know from Ibinidia University is very close to Use. If you pass Okada, Ibinidia University, you are already in Use. That was where the senior brother was. Is or uh, what do you call is uh, Olu Olubolu Olubolu. There's a lot of Usen today. That, that is where he lives. So then Oromi and I stay in a place called Oha. That was Oromi and his warriors. They stayed there very close to his brother. The name of that place was not called Oha. The name was called Azagba. If Oba or Bini want to become this, that is stupid throne, he must go to that place and use human being for sacrifice look at what happened that place then the reason why they changed the name from uh azagba to oha oha village if you are going to a village, village uh, 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 the former governor of those state is village their father village okada university the village before you reach a uh, university is called oha that is the history i want to show you now how the name was called Oka. Baba Abini, I know you reach your yash, your, your, I know you reach house. You are a fool. See, people like me, I'm not scared. The only way you can kill me is two food poison. Or you send a yes or your aye to me, the country is going to keep, but they know if you kill me for this country. So that was what happened in a place called Azagba. Or me and settled down there. The name they are calling Bini Bini, how the name came to be. How the name they're not commonly been. You don't, they don't know. Some people are saying, I'm a great Bini man. You are a fool. You don't, you don't know. You are you are a, you are the greatest idiot in the history. And if you don't know where you are coming from, you are a fool. See, they went to Haromi and stayed there. Very, very far from his brother's place. His brother was living in uh, Usain. Haromiya was living in uh, 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 what do you call that place? Uh, Azagba. Very close to Usain. Just follow the river, you are already there. So, in the evening, the Oromia gather his warriors together, his fighters. They were sitting under the big tree. They were, he, were, he was addressing them. He told them that both the slaves, the captors of our people, some of our people are slaves. We have to be honest in good history so that God will bless us. He told the gatherings that the land they have came to conquer. The land is, he said it in Yoruba, Wo, before he said, just listen, when he was addressing those, those, his, those his followers, a very big tree, his branch bro broke and fell on some of his uh, fighters, fighters. Some of them died, some of them were injured. Oromia shattered, Wo. If you, if you understand the Yoruba language, wo, me look wo, ha, ile binu, ile binu, ile, we have ile elisha, we have ile oyo, we they are not changing to elephant, wo, oh, we have buwa, God, life will kill you. The word ile ife, ile oyo, ile sha, ile, what do you call the other one, ile binu, it's a Yoruba word. It's not our language. So, Romeo said, Ile binu. Wo ile binu. This land, in Yoruba word, Ile binu, this land is a land of vestation. If you see a Yoruba, Yoruba, they are fighting. You see a wo, Egbon ile binu, Ema binu, Ema binu. Binu is, don't, don't verse, Ema binu, Egbon. Tie, die. You know, binu, that binu mean, Vestation say at the binu at the binu that's a ilay binu. He say Oromia said this land is a land of vestation. Ilay binu. He said uh, this land forbids a stranger from ruling over them. 
it is only the indigenous that can rule this land with this land they can he said this land nobody can rule this land for them to have peace except their own people oromio never married our sister those ones the Obama is saying that he married our sister Ogun will kill you about Bini. Why did he lie? Ogun with the car come from Yoruba land will kill you. Liar. Oromio captured slaves. Slave. Our people are slaves. Captured them. Pack go. Ilife. He carried the daughter of Osenego, one of our chiefs, where they captured their territory. Carried their daughter. Follow body. Go for Ilife. Now that place, neither one can't give birth. To the first son the name of the first son is called ado which they don't name the name edo is name it is the oba of Benin who named our state call it edo all the name you are seeing in the local government oba bini name all of them yoruba but we are we fool <laughs> We be we be every mamu then a mumu na we be. <laughs> See, when Oromi and make ilay binu, I forget to clarify that very place. Oromi has say we ilay binu. People around that community started say, ilay binu, ilay binu. So they started calling this that very territory ilay binu. Pure Yoruba, and if you if you think I am lying. Look at this uh, saying in, in, in our land. He said, Edune, Edune Wairi, the land of the land you dream to come through in the next generation. That was during the time of the Idu, not this bastard. Edune Wairi, Edune Ewe Igodo Migodo. He said, The land of great people, the land of Igodo Migodo, and Edune Ewe Ilei Binu. You see? He said the land of Ile Binu. You ask any Biniman what is the name of Ile Binu? See Yoruba word or Zuo or Monamuria. Ask your mother, I don't know why they know Ile Binu, I don't know we go to Migodo. That is what's listening, you, know, you, you will pick a point from what I am saying. You know. Then, Oromio, they started calling those areas. It was not this land, the other side they are calling Bini say go to me, go to. It's not Bini. Then they now move. Oromio went to what they call that place, uh, another Yoruba land, or your present day, or your. They went to go and fight there. Oromio was a fighter. We are not the one who gave birth to him. Oromio also did the same thing he did in our land, but he succeeded in uh, Oyo. And he now named that place name that place called uh before he went to Oyo, he first of all one went to some one some part in Ninja States. He had his son. That that was his second son. That one is called, I think that one was his second son. It's called Shango, which the Benin people now worship today as, as gods. If you come to Benin, they, they, they worship that one. It, or, all the Oromi are family, all of them are the what if you see Benin people worshiping idol. The Bini people are the most, see, not all of us, all. the most stupid human being that ever existed in the generation of this world is majority of the Bini are so coward. No, not all of us. <laughs> I repeat, some people will be calling me, why are you calling us like, stupid? Majority of us, we are so stupid, you know. <laughs> not all of us, all of us cannot be stupid. Because some of the, some of us resisted them, but the unity was not there because they were more civilized more than us. Then, listen to the history. Then, uh, there was not a, a rebel in the land, Sabu. The family of the wife of Oromio, who Oromio kidnapped, Oromio raped our sister, which gave birth to his son. The name of the son is called Ado, which they now name after Edo State today is called Edo. It's a Yoruba name, Ado. Any Yoruba man know the meaning of Ado. A D O Ado. So that was how Oromio left. Many years later, the father of the daughter, Osenigo, went to Ife. He did, nobody went to meet Oduduwa. 
see eh we did not went to meet to do not we uh, it was the father of the wife of uh, Oromio uh, Senegal and some of his lieutenants around him in a gun that very quarter they lived they entered through the river they went to meet with Oromio then when they went to Ife Oromio was already the only of Ife Oromio is the only of Ife where the Oromio is different from Odudua Odudua is not the father of Oromio is the ancestors of Oromio we don't know Odudua Odudua don't know us they went to Ife they met with Oromio. Oromio was a king. Nobody tell Oromio to come and rule also. They are the one who said they, they want to take the, uh, the son of their sister, their daughter, their group. They said they have having a territory for him to come and be ruling over them. That is that is how I do. Listen to your history and don't be fool. That is how I do. His name is called Ado. Came from what do you call that land? When he was coming, Oromio, Oromio, the old new affair, brought, uh, sent uh, uh, Osa and Oswan. This uh, Osa will take his hand here. Oswan will take his hand. These this two shrines, my brother, this is this thing that shrine beneath you. They were using human being for them. <laughs> my God. May God don't let us have this. Ah. As we don't know the sin we have committed against God, why God is punishing us like this today. That I don't know. So that is how they came up. Osa, Oswan, Ihama, eh, Oni, Edigi, Bamawo. You know, if you go to Benin, you see they answering Bam. You ask them what is the meaning of Bamawo. It's not the Yoruba name or Zuo. That is how they came from Ilifeo. They didn't come to overthrow us, so they were living as just like where Boko Haram is in the in the north in the Borono. They have territory there. That was the people we were occupying. You know. They were living in Nusi. When they even come, when they were doing the ceremony to install that boy as a as a Ogigo, they not Ogigo as a, a Oba of Ile Ibinu. A title is above, it's not above it go to me go to above it do. They carry territory for themselves. Those like a local government. Then then Oromia gave an instruction. He told them that before his son will be crowned as a king, the father, the in-law, Osanego must be killed according to their tradition. They killed that one. They kill us and they go there. When they were doing the coronation of uh, <laughs> all their history of all of them is human sacrifice, killings, killing, destruction. See, God will continue to punish those people who are supporting us, but you people will never know peace. And it will continue to extend to your generation of born. Except, you will see, look at you people that you are moving backwards. Look, they want to take vice president. They, they could have taken each man as vice president or take. They will not take you. Have you seen any Benima that do vice president before? Because of the cost of the land is on, on your head. You have said, you want to kill me. Me that is opening your eye. Don't you see? God, see? That is how the... Uh, that is how the first Oba of Benin, Ado, he was not ruling uh, <laughs> the state everywhere. He was in in a place called Use, just a small town. So when they came, the people who followed them to Ife to fetch him, it was not Oduduwa they met to Ozuo. It was Oromio they met there. They say eh, Oromio. Oduduwa sent who? They came. When they came, the name of the son is Ado. They send many, many medicine men to protect uh, their son. The palace, we, we, okay, when they came from Ife, where was the palace of the Oba Abini as well? The palace was in Usi. That very place Oromia stayed, that was their palace. Aolo, 
<laughs> Omamo de. They always say their palace is to, to tomorrow. That is their ancient palace. We are not one people. So there's what they call Ahwe. I don't in those days we have forest. They, they have born on those forests. In those days, they call it Ahwe, the marble. They play in the marble just like a game, seed game. So before, according to their own Yoruba lifestyle, if you want to become the king, you must play that marble. So the son, the son of Romeo, he doesn't speak our language. He speaks a Yoruba language. Go and verify. Obi, Obi, Obi is here. Peter Obi, maybe Peter Obi is watching me now. Go and verify. See, when they were throwing the marble, their son, what is the name of their son? Ado. He said, Owomika. All their history tied with Yoruba. Owomika. Do you know what is Owomika? My hand, dog. Mitam, my hand don't catch an awomika. So those our people who were around there, they will say, I wake up, I wake up, because we don't know how to pronounce a Yoruba word. So our language then was an Ishan language, and you know, we have a different, different language. The main language they were using in the land was Ishan, not those Osako language, Urubo, this uh, language we were using those days. He say awomika, my hand don't mitam. The people there, they say, I wake up, I wake up. That was how they call him. Eweka the first. Ask them what is the meaning of Eweka. Is it not a Yoruba name as well? Yoruba is not a Yoruba man. They are answering Yoruba, their papa name. Why are they not answering your name, Mumu? That is how the name came to be Eweka the first. Eweka have uh, a son who's called uh, Olumo, uh, Olumo, <laughs> Olumiz, Olumiza. I don't know how to call it. Olomuza, Olomuza Fusi. That is who say. The first son was called Olomuza of Eweka. So that first son was sleeping with his father's wives. The is Olomuza. So it's the same thing like this Oba of Benina, this stupid Oba, Oba Ewari second. The same one. So they didn't give him the, the they, they were not ruling also, they were ruling that very cycle. You see, it was called the Oba of Ile Binu Use in a very village around those places we were living. So, after the first Oba, the second one came. They were not ruling also. May you listen, you know, they, they, they never ruled us. Let me tell you how they started ruling us. The second one was called uh, Ehemihe. That one, he, he really died. He, he, no, they, didn't, they didn't rule us. The second one, all those names you are seeing, they are all Yoruba names. <laughs> then the, the fourth one, oh no, the third one is called Ewedo. So look at what happened there. Eh? Before I talk, tell you the history of this very third about how they now move from that their palace to the present palace there is today. They move palace from that place. You see, in a move very Kenya region. Oh, oh man, 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 If you don't get Percy for back, you are finished. See. How did they move from that very their yeah, palace? You see, come this very palace. Then they were now fighting themselves. Those people who came who went to Ife to bring uh, their father. And many of them they were not fighting themselves, they were not fighting. No. And the king of our land is called Ogiso. Then he was enthroned in Igudo, Migudo City. The name was changed from Ogiso to Ogiamie. Ogi is our language, Ojemi King, in our language. That is King. Ogi, Amie. King is what we see in our land. We don't see Oba. That is the definition of Ogi, Amie. So when they were fighting, that Oromia fighting, 
So after they have Romy have they are, Romy have left for Ife. So now Oba Adu no Oba Ewedo ran to Ogiami Ogiso. He ran to one of the Ogisos and pleaded with him that they are driving him to go back to his Ile Ife where they came from. That now he can't go back again. That their family will not really recognize him anymore. He was pleading. Look, eh, my yah, we see now a mona. Eh, see now do you know where he is? I do not see devil. Now we now use our heart to cause this this stupidity where we see for our life. Me not know where we for wrong God. <laughs> God called the punishers. He's the punishers today. See, oba ewe do. Ewe do have a meaning. I will bring my phone and tell you the meaning of all these things in Yoruba language. These are all Yoruba. Ancient Yoruba words. We don't know how to pronounce it very well. Then Oba Ewedo, the third Oba of Benin. The fourth, it was the fourth. After Ewaka, it was the fourth. Then he pleaded with Ogiso, which is the present day Ogiamie. This, let me just call it Ogiamie, our king. He told him he do not have anywhere to go. He's, this is his mother's land. Look, where we, where we, where we made mistake. Somebody you could have just put and hang him. Bewa. Use the blood. Because we, we don't know how to use human being for sacrifice. That's their culture. They brought from Ife. If you want to know, we don't use human being for sacrifice. Go to our villages. We don't use. Anywhere you see they're using human being for sacrifice in those state, that person is traced to Oba Abini families. I swear to God, ask anybody. If you see any traditional ruler that they are using human being for sacrifice, that's that very traditional ruler I have historical link with the above Benin. Don't rule it out. That is how Ogiamie said, No problem, I will help you. He didn't dash in the land though. Oba Benin don't have land, it's not claiming he owns land to America. That place, that present day Oba Palace, that place is a cemetery. Where the Ogiamies, Okisos, bury their dead ones. They bury, in those days, they bury people there, bury people in that place. And I said, Oh, you stay here, you and your or your followers. You now give them that uh, that regalio, that that our symbol, uh, that thing I use. That will be, not your name. Go where you are. That is how the Gamie give him that place to stay. Immediately, the Gamie give him that place to stay. Do you know what they did? Obaya Wedo went to Ife. Now he have the power. He went to Ife, breed different type of juju. I work panel. See, eh? if you see name of juju, we don't know their name, eh? This is not the white man come born on those juju. <laughs> you see, eh? If you see Ogun with the deserve of Bini, Ogun na Odudua, na he born the first son of Odudua, that they call him Ogun, Akombi. The first son of Odudua, that is the, the great grandfather of the ancestor of this Oba, na he Bini put the worship as God. Shango. Now the son of Oromiyo, the father, the father of this Oba, Nae Bo Shango, Nae the Bini people they worship as gods. Now be Yoruba, Nae the two be. Then Olokun, Olokun was the wife of uh, Odua. The Bini people they worship. <laughs> no, <laughs> no my God, may God have mercy on us. We are too useless. Nae may God they punish us. <laughs> May God, not all of us, they are useless. Those one who are having in mind to fight them, but they will not have any support. You don't see the way that they push me up and down and trying to finish me. Eh? They, they just try to kill me. If they did, they will not trace me, kill me. They will say, nah, yeah. They will go right for police and say, I'll be a year. Nah, my courtesy group, nah, he kill me. Ah, yeah, nah, they fight with a year. Nah, so they, they could have done it. Okay, now. Now you go pack all those juju. 
all the whole juju way they for bini all of them na yoruba na e get them na the oba na e bring all of them come bini any juju way bini man they serve na yoruba people na e they worship na the family of oromiyo and who do do and they be look check them the other one is now also quicker as he did eh look all those one all of them if they want to worship them kabi is yo oba meta oba meji oba what if you oba meta what if you oba meji meji and meta na your language as well the next let me speak the yoruba very well I, I will be the last person to insult you, know, people. People were very smart. <laughs> so we has the then the upper people did not change the they not they not decimated on the army who gave them land. So the it was not there was a fight between the Ogiami and this very upper Edo. So. There was a fight between the uh, Ogiami and this this Oba family. Then uh, there was a place, that place called Saint Matthew. They reached an agreement with with oats. They, you know, this is an agreement now. They took sand from the ground. He said, uh, "I have given you this land, that very place where the Oba Palace is today." He didn't give the land for free. He said. I have given you this land to stay. Time to time, you will continue to pay the rentage to my children to come. He didn't cut a do state to two to give him one side though, for them to just stay that area. There was an agreement. The agreement is called a cube bagger because that place was a market place where Ogiso Market was there. And they called a cube bagger. There was a, a tree in that market. An agreement. Any Oba who want to become Oba must fulfill that agreement. This Oba Bini refused. He he said he will give Ogiami fifty million naira because if he do it, the whole world will see. He so Ogiami Ogiso they are the owner of this land. Oba Bini is a foreigner. This Oba Bini knows a is a part. A, what do you call it? A cocaine addict. He sends Ibini Dion the summer of Bini. The late Captain Osa, he, he begged him that they should give Ogiamie 50 million naira for Ogiamie not to perform that that equipment. He foreign now for that matter. Then he uh, began to call Ogiamie, tell Ogiamie, look, oh, this money is 50 million naira. Collect this money from Oba Abini and don't don't do the the the, the, the what they call it the agreement. If you don't collect this money, they will give this money to courts to eat the money or they will give it to your brothers they will sponsor your brothers to claim that he is the one is your Ogiamie. so that one will collect the 50 million so when Ogiamie, Ogiamie i talk where he said they are our present king now that one refused to collect 50 million <laughs> that one told him he must come and fulfill the agreement in open after fulfilling the agreement he will pay 500 million and the territory they have given to him, he will stay there. He will not expand. The Oba Abini said, let them negotiate. That he will just only give him only money. Then all those, our local governments, he will be collecting. Look at this criminal. Our Ogiyame said, no, you must respect the agreements of our forefathers. The Oba said, no, he will not. Uh, Bobizwa. Bobizwa just stand up. Bobizwa is there today. Bobizwa. Bobizwa told Oba Abini and the Captain Usa and Ibini Dion said, don't worry. I will, who is Ogiame? I will bring Ogiame to number zero. Bobizwa said it to Bobizwa went to Ogiame family. He, he hired, uh, what do you call it? Uh, he hired some of their brothers, who were, those who were hungry. He promised them that he's going to give them 10 million. They were happy. He gave them 10,000 era. He gathered them to ITV. They were protesting. They said this Ogiamien now is not their brother. He's a son of a woman. He's that. They were saying, you know, this money now. That is what happening. They don't say to this very Oba. 
he did everything. Oshomole. After he was doing all those things, you see, there was no uh, light coming up from there. Oshomole, that drunker, former governor of Edo, Edo State, who, is, who happened to be a, a drunker man, a drunker. That one, that one don't even care to look at history. Oba Abini called that one and said, Look, I want to become Oba, you're my friend. Though. Look at Ogiame, is trying to block road. Oshomole mobilized the highest security in Edo State with different healers. They went to Ogiame house. They kidnapped Ogiame. They nearly killed him. <laughs> they catch Ogiame. They catch the second they command to Ogiame. They put them to Stacey ID. The next day, they charged them to court. What did they do? They said Ogiame and uh, and uh, Olia. They said they were trying to they commit a, a traditional tra traditional tre treason. <laughs> <laughs> we asked that one before. Anybody who committed traditional treason, they, they want they create their own law which they will use to jail Ogiame. He will go to 27 years imprisonment or ga. Oshomo Lehu is an aborigin, joined a Yoruba man to be fighting his own ancestors. That's why you see Oshomo Le. Look at it. If Oshomo Le don't go and beg Ogiame, look, I think Oshomo Le supported Tinubu. You will see how Tinubu and their gang all of them will crash. They are money. You don't know. Just watch. See, here, eh? Oshomo, if you don't go go beg or gam here, you will see how you will do it. When you go die, you go, oh, nobody will even know where you you, you die. You see, Ogbemudia, uh, Ali, they, they are being remembered today. But your own, you will see, oh, forget to oh, people you do good for now, then they eh? will, eh? will finish you. All those your estate, you will see your children will see, you sell and taste smoke cocaine. Okay? One market. Your name, God will punish you. If you don't come and apologize for what you have done to our king, Ogiamie. That was what happened. Ogiamie said, Come and obey the treaty of your forefather. Your forefather is a Yoruba man for crying out loud. So, if you go to Bedou State now, the oldest palace in West Africa is that Ogiso Palace. It's a national monument recognized by uh, what uh, I don't know what they call it for English. What well, I don't know what they call it. The word something that have to do with World International. And uh, the other one, National Museum and Monuments, the federal government recognizer. Every year, government they allocate money for that palace. Maintain the maintain about the other opinion they are gone, they eat the money. Palace will not be now. When I go to the collect money, I'll go to the big mother. So, so I wonder this year, what can I see? Eh? I want to show a video for about the other opinion. You see, when the other opinion die, eh? the first other opinion about I do when it won't die, it can't tell uh, all these things are documented in history. I'm not saying it with my own brain. No. The books, everything is documented down. It was even written by a, <laughs> a chief in their palace who wrote it. When the the, the first Oba, Oba Iwaka, the first one to when he one die, he gave an order that when he died, they should carry him and bury him in uh, in Leife. So before Romeo died. All Romeo children who were king in different places, so Romeo give them a land. When they die, they will bury them there. So, if you go to Ife, they have a land for what they call this man, uh, Oba, this very Oba family. They call the name of that place, Oru Oba Ado. The one of Oyo, they have a place they call Oru Oba Ado. Oyo. They have, or Romeo give a let me show you the one of Oba Bini. Let me show you. I want to show you if Oba Bini died, they will cut the head. They were taking their body to that place in those days. But later on, because of the preservation, they now decided to be cutting their heads. In our language, when, when we were the head of the lion that was not lost, they would cut the heads and put the head and bury it there. Then in, in, in return, the 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 Ife people moved the bronze. A bronze a replicant of that uh, head and give to the to the uh, oba 
Then, and with slaves, we pack many slaves to the effect. Who are here? Why don't you support Oba? Who are here? 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 Look, look at this. Look, look at Look at this. Hello, listeners. You are welcome to a sacred place called Orobado in ancient city of Ilefe, where the remains of all the Obas of Bini are buried until about two centuries ago. This place is referred to as Orobado. Oru means heaven. You see the place? That I paid money for them to go and investigate and video that place. You understand? Oru Oba Ado, that is the name of the first son of Oba, uh, of Oromiyo is Ado, where they have been, their head is being buried there. Look, until this Oba, what is the name of this Oba? Oba, Ovurame head was not buried there. From Ovurame downward, all their head was buried there. Look. Oba is a Yoruba word for king. Why Ado is a dialect pronunciation, variant of Edo. So the English translation for this second place is heaven of the Edo kings because it is a better set for the Edo kings until about 200 years ago. Since Oba Eweka in 1235, when any Oba died in Benin City, the head was cut off and buried exactly in this second place in the ancient city of Ilefe. In return, a bronze res replica of the head was sent back to Bini where the rest of the body was buried. This continued until when Oba... You see, listen, you know, when the Oba of Bini died, the head will be buried there. You see the place, they say right now, Uru Oba Ado. Listen, you know, I have the video. This very yes, this very stupid Oba, when he was planning to be the Oba, become Oba, he went there. That's why I was asking him that one. Day. He said all of them went there. When they went there, they tell them to stay outside. Then Oni of Ife took the Oba Abini, take his hands. Oni, this very present Oni, Oni Kabisi, took the hand of Oba Abini inside. And they did the normal the necessary rituals. There is no Oba who can become an Oba without going to the ancestral lands to go and do the nomads. If you don't do it, <laughs> you are in problem. <laughs> this is what their father did. They tell them that they will be doing. You know? So when you see people coming out and say that, eh, uh, 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 so uh, you have a son, Kaladina, he, he lost in the wilderness. He came out in the Now lie. Odudua. Odudua, when they were having Odudua in Ilefe, we, the king that that we were having uh, a Vian, Odo, this one we are not even born. Somebody who we are not even born, who how can he born you? We have Odo in 12th century as a king, and Odudua came to Ilefe in kind 9th century. Somebody who came in kind 8th century to 9th century, how can he give birth to? I use uh, somebody who. Who were in 12th century as a king come and give birth to somebody who came to Yoruba land and that kind of 8th century. You all know that the, uh, this man came from uh, what do you call it uh, the, from the Middle East now, the Bronze Age. All those bronze casts you are seeing beneath, I will tell you how these things came into being. See, please, if you are sharing this, if you are watching it, you are not sharing this video, you are not doing us help. 100 and 100 and uh, 15 people have shared it. Share it and let it reach 200. Hello? 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 Put the phone for your ear. Now we are in the public domain. Put the phone on your ear and speak normal. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, good evening, sir. Can you hear me now? Put it on your ear so that we can hear you. Yes, I'm hearing. Good evening, sir. Oh, good evening. Go on. Okay. okay, okay, where are you calling? I'm calling you from uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Ah, I'm okay. calling from Cote d'Ivoire, Abidjan. Okay, yes, yeah, you are welcome, sir. Uh, yeah, I want 
thank you. Um, I want to. I uh, yesterday I was watching uh, your program. Yes. Uh, you were making a, a, a broadcast yesterday. I am talking about today, so sir. I picked up your number. Yeah, we are talking about today pro sir? broadcast. We are doing program program today. We are having a program today. Now, have you watch? Are you watching? Okay, me? you are already on. Hello? <laughs> Do you have any question to ask? Eh? You see? That is, these are some of the slaves their father took, uh, they used them for ritual. Used them to drink the uh, oat water in the palace. <laughs> So, uh, please let us, uh, if you are watching, please share this video and let this video go viral. I want to show you, you see this place I am showing you just now, that is the place. And Oba Abini was there. I have the video. The Oba Abini was there in Ile Ife. He went to Ife. He, they told cam cameramen to off camera, but we are having a spa. They video them as well. They video them. And they brought out the video. You understand? So I'm going to show you this video one by one. Let us finish with this one. <laughs> Overwhelming. Maguaisi died in exile in Calabar on the 1st of January 1914. On the 27th of April 2018, the current of Bini Omonoba Nedu Uku Akwapopolo, a word the second visited this place to pay homage to his forefathers. Thank you very much. He came to 2015, he came to this very place to pay homage to me or their father. Please lock the door. He came to pay homage to their, their Yoruba fathers. Eh? That is where their head, their father had. And if I have money, I'll go and buy that place. I'll build the public toilets. If I have money, I will go and buy that. Since you people said you are not from Ife, we'll go and meet your people to sell that place for me. I'll build the public toilets. Because we're collecting money from people who want to come and shit on your head, the head of your ancestors. Idiots. Where you people come from, you're hiding your, your are you stupid? You see full of people hiding where they come from. <laughs> also. <laughs> you are even hiding where you come from. Let me play it again. Listen, and let us watch it again. No? Hello, listeners. You are welcome to a sacred place called Orobado in ancient city of Ileife, where the remains of all the Obas of Benin are buried until about two centuries ago. This place is referred to as Orobado. Oru means heaven. Oba is a Yoruba word for king. Why Ado is a dialect pronunciation variant of Edo. So the English translation for this second place is heaven of the Edo kings because it is a better set for the Edo kings until about 200 years ago. Since Oba Eweka in 1235, when any Oba died in Benin City, the head was cut off and buried exactly in this sacred place in the ancient city of Ilefe. In return, a bronze re replica of the head was sent back to Benin where the rest of the body was buried. This continued until when Oba, Oba Wenim, Madwaisi died in exile in Calabar on the 1st of January, 1914. On the 27th of April, 2018, the current of Abini Omonoba Nedu Uku Akwapopolo, a Wari II, visited this place to pay homage to his forefathers. You see, he went there to pay homage to his forefathers. And then where they come from? Everything. Look, oh, look at the video. The Bini people. <laughs> a Yoruba man is telling you he's their, he's their God. You know, if you tell them that he's, he's God, though, he's the God. 
Say, ah, God. And you, say, you don't even know your God, oh. Stupid man. and the history of the Benin people. The historians all agree that Oduduwa sent his son Oromia at the request of elders of Benin to return with them as ruler of their realm. Oromia's stay in Benin may have been short, but before he left, a child was born to him who was later crowned over. And as is known today, and is known today as Ewebe the first. Oromia's time in Benin, however short-lived, he was an Oba. And so he was the first Oba after the Ukiso dynasty came to an end. He established Obership in Benin by education. Therefore, the listing of past covers should therefore begin from Oromia, as it is listed in the Larry Walk book. Short, short history of Benin, actually making my revered father 39 over the already Benin, if the listing... The listing with the top, he say his, his, his father, Oromia, created Oba ship. I think you see what this man talk with himself. Saying that they create Oba ship. We don't have Oba. It's a Yoruba word. Ew. God, if I am saying this thing to my people, how many of my people have come and said, now, let us remember our forefathers. Let us stop being an, an a goat to Yoruba man. A, a fool better than you. Don't know. It, the man is even sending him as to go to uh, River State to oh. all those are our brothers, then Geman, AP people, all those are Burma, all those are our brothers who ran away many years ago. Ugbea, Nembe, all those are our brothers who run away, Equity people who run away from the, uh, their fatherland. All Babin is not telling them that he's the one who gave birth to them. Okay. Very soon, he will also go to. Ghana and tell the uh, Ashanti people that's the one who gave birth to them. <laughs> listen to him or listen to this foolish man. <laughs> listen to him. It's counted from however short lived. He was an Oba. And so he was the first Oba after the Ukiso dynasty came to an end. He said he was the first Oba after the Ugiso that nursing came to an end, my brother. Can you both teach us how our king came to an end? Are we not having Ogiamie? Is the Ogiamie not this the descendant of the Ogisos? Are we am I not Ogiso? Have I, have I came to an end? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Look at what he said. He said they created Oba sheep. You created Oba sheep. Then who is the one who sent for how how come you not give birth to Dudua? You the one who create lost you know, some beneath fools. They don't know what this man is saying here. Some foolish ones among them. Listen to the your, your foolish man, Ozua. Oromia's time in Benin, however short lived, he was an over. And so he was the first Oba after the Ukiso dynasty came to an end. He established Oba. He said after the Ukiso dynasty came to an end, Oromia established Oba ship. If you are a real reasonable human being, if you are not a good, look at what the man is saying. What they did in, the, in our land now, they established. Did what did I told you? I said it was the Oba ship was established in Usi. Our law 
It was Oromiyo who sent he who used his son to establish. Was it the Oba of our lands? Look, the man is saying, he said, okay, so Ella came to an end as well. And our Giamme Palace, Ogiame I talk he said, look, our pa see, we are the owner of the lands. I'm going to Nigeria by January to go and do my father burial. Let him come and hold me. Am I not a human rights activist? Oga, as I speak to you now, if you are watching me anywhere in the world, my, my own biological father, my father, he took my father to the palace. He poisoned my father. He killed my father. This very Oba, who is a cocaine addict, don't even have shame on his eye. A man who marries his own biological sisters, having a children his own sisters. Let him took me to court. I have a case in court here today. Since for more than three months now, do you see me coming out online to come and beg money? Have you seen me? For since three months, the court have not even said, give me any letter. Oh, guy, eh? we need people, eh? See people where they fight for. They are God, even for Bible. At least people see support Jesus Christ. People are there supporting me, but the way they did they fear this Oba, fear of the unknown. Oh, I suffer. For since last year, August, when he points my papa, my papa see the mortuary, I never buried my father. When I want to go to Nigeria, I will come and ask and come and say, I want to go to Nigeria. I will see need for support for my people. The reason why we never plan all those Nigeria journey, all those things, because I get case for court with the Oba. Oh, see, eh? Within this Oba, I've been in and use a demofi and if criminals they do against me. Sometimes, away. <laughs> Sometimes when I will open my eye, open the money where they take beg me. At last, I know they take money. I know they take what money? Oga. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, Lord, you are watching with off that one so that we can hear you, sir. Oga. Pause when you are watching with sir. Good evening. Uh, hello, you are calling, you don't talking. Yeah, hello. Pause when you are watching so that we can hear you. Okay. Mr. Jiso. Good evening, sir. Long time. How are you? <laughs> we do I did on live. You do watch our be? Yeah, I do watch them. That's why I, I come now. I left him. Yeah, because uh, I, I didn't follow you every day, but when you enter politics, I just did. Uh, <laughs> uh, that one of my that one of my best private opinion. That one, that one different from our history. You understand? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that one is different. I'm entitled to my yeah. opinion. Yes, go on, sir. No, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying you should not yes. uh, say your opinion. You have right to to. Let us just leave politics as from here so that we go straight to where exactly, we are here. Exactly, exactly. That's why I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a politician. I'm not even interested in politics. Yes. I'm, the reason I follow you every time, but when I see that, but today now, that's why I call you. Okay. This is what we are praying for that you should do. And I believe that a lot of people also, we believe that we agree with you. Whenever you are doing this, they will turn in and listen because so I will be I will be going to Nigeria by January next year to go and do my father burial. Uh, okay. You see, yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll for God have a purpose okay. for everything. You understand? So, yeah. if you this man, the government of the uh, those states is our government. God mm. use us to work for Him. So the. So he now see me see now that you see that what happened to Emmanuel Joker. Yes. He tried to use the state's machinery. He have his own judge in high court. He have magistrates in in, in use. The magistrate mm -hmm. the Oba Abini use is called magistrate Usayende Ikumuse Awawu. He married to Oba brother. That would magistrate from Esako. Anytime. Any case that relate to palace, that magistrate now they judge the case. They would all put you for a witty trial. He have a policeman he also uses in state CID. He's called 
balogun na balogun na they use that one can use player to remove your teeth to make sure say you talk with you know with you know no so in high courts in the state high courts you also have a a judge when they use justice fa bomba who is the daughter of the ERC of Benin? So that is the state power. But under Governor Obaseki, now Obaseki have collapsed that power from him. Obaseki don't want him to be using state machinery to be oppressing our people. Okay, that is one side. On the federal level, so what the Oba Benin did when he saw that Emmanuel Joka was released from court, the case was that he don't have any case against him everything so he said it's a cyber crime and the court that was in session was in river state but i caught an abuja he wanted to use the commissioner of police to kidnap imajika and take him to Patai courts where he have influence so over imajika so that he can do, do all these things so we are talking about fedra you see that man is very don't see when you see i campaigning for article i just want to say something you know, that is not the reason why i'm here you see, Emi have come to come to Oba Palace. Oba Bini said they said they are brothers. Do you see any Bini person came out to say, hey, 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 hey? Do you see anybody say anything about it? Oba Bini will carry private jets. He go to Sultan of Sokoto. Are you hearing me, sir? Huh? Yeah, I'm hearing. Yes. Just write it on Google, uh, internet, uh, what do you call YouTube? Oba Bini in, in Sokoto. Oba Emi, Oba Bini, Sultan. Oba. But nobody is complaining about this. Oba Bini and Dozen Buhari for presidency. Anybody don't talk. But me, if I say I I I endorse uh, somebody, why my own different? I'm not a okay. normal citizen like the Oba okay. Bini. Yeah, huh? listen, the, let me tell you, uh, Mr. Jizo. Okay. You know, uh, let me uh, let me this is my opinion. You have your own. Let me say this. You know, you you are in a public forum, you understand? Mm -hmm. You, you have followers. Okay. And the followers, I'm one of them who listen to you, and I believe there are many around the world. And when you come to the public forum, if you, because the, the reason why people are supporting you or following you is because you have a message, and that message is penetrating to let people know their history. You understand? Okay. But immediately, you, immediately you divert uh, on that, it is no longer on the public. Bro. You are bringing your own, your own thing, and you are in, trying to impose it on other people, and people will be torn off like that. And that is what for me. I'm not I didn't impose it. No. You see, you see, sir, sir, I didn't impose no, it. It's not, it's not, I was I'm never not imposing, it imposing it to. I was only only supporting my own candidates. Yeah, but, but I didn't impose it on if, anybody. Yeah, but if yes, yeah, I understand. But whenever other people bring their own opinion. They tell you, Peter B, you, you shut them down. No, 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 no. I didn't shut them down. You don't. Leave. You see, when you no, are bringing, when, when you are presenting Peter B, you see, yes. you see, when you say Peter B will win, okay, we let the form of debates. Oh, Peter B have done this, yes. Peter B have done this. But when you are asking, when you are on live with these people, uh, mm -hmm. most of those people, uh, they don't have their primary school dropout. When I say primary school dropout, they are reasoning. It doesn't exist in 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 in, in educational form. So some of these people that are coming out, just like we have thirty six states in Nigeria. Uh, based, someone like me, I have read the Constitution of Nigeria. I have a copy of the nineteen ninety nine Constitution, even the uh, uh, Electoral Act two thousand uh, uh, two thousand twenty uh, two thousand. I forget the year. The, the year they wrote it. The way they have made it, Electoral Act. See. The constitution of Nigeria is very clear for you to be president. A president must score 25 percent out of 100 percent of a vote cast in each state, yes. in 22 states. Yes. So yes. I, I have read the history of Nigeria from 1960, even 1955, Mark Fossey constitution to present day. I have, I have read those history. So when somebody is calling from the east, from Igbo land or from Benin, because he doesn't know how many states we have in Nigeria. The person only thought maybe the whole north is only one state. He only think about Igbo, Benin, and Lagos. He doesn't know if people like Kanuri exist. 
if people like the TV people is it they do the 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 educational uh, prerogative is not even there. So I am trying okay. to say, oh look, oh, look, oh, before you can be a governor in Nigeria, a president, you have to win twenty two states. Okay, now you are saying OB will be OB OB OB. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Just, just let me ask you one question. Okay. Uh, which is, you see, were you, uh, uh, when the uh, Obama were running for the president of the United States, did, did, did you work, follow uh, follow the, the campaign? Events. I was in Nigeria, I followed all the, the events, event. I was there. Yes. Okay. Before uh, Obama came and make an announcement, uh, uh, make a speech that gave him an uh, 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 give him a spotlight. N you will never, never dream that a black man will be a, a, a be, be is, Obama, is Obama a black man? I don't know. Is he a black man? Who? Oh, the, a, a Obama is an uh, is an half caste now. <laughs> okay, if a white yeah, man, or, I, I don't understand. Okay, let us be fair, fair with yeah, ourselves. Yeah, Obama, <laughs> Obama, Obama, <laughs> Okay, that, if I marry a Fulani woman, uh, 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 maybe my my no, father no, is a no, Fulani. No, no, no. Listen, listen. <laughs> it, 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 when, uh, Obama, Obama's dad is not an American. Obama's dad was a Kenyan. Okay, mother is what? The mother is what? Uh, is uh, is an American white white woman. The mother is from uh, what is called that country? I think Irish. I be I I think the yeah, Irish woman. White, it, it, okay. Yeah, right, no, uh, you in, in, in this country. In this country, yeah. if your mother is a uh, German, your father is black, mm. so you, you you can identify yourself. Uh, the government can identify you as German. You are not Nigerian. You understand? So when you are calling Obama, Obama is black no, man. No, no, no. I don't know what okay. is a black man. My, my, my eh? brother, a black uh, Obama. <laughs> Obama is Obama. half caste. <laughs> yeah, half caste. It means that he's both. He's both, nah. It's fifty-fifty. Yes. Yeah, but, the is a black man. The uh, but he himself not an original black man, huh? It's not original black. What do you mean, what do you mean original? What? When we say I'm black not, man, yeah. you are a black man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, if you go and do it again, then you will find it. Okay, let us be honest. Obama is not a complete black man. He's half okay. caste. Well, yes. Half I, caste, okay. half half. I, I, can, yes. I can agree with you yes. that it's not 100% black but let me tell you okay let me tell you the american people the americans here they took they, they took obama as a black man but because you don't know i'm just telling you we, we live on this side they, they they don't they don't consider obama as a, as a white man but you people are looking from from there to think he is a white man no the american where they live in the state they don't consider uh, obama Oh okay. God! I have, I have, I have, I have. Wait, I have three children who are who are half castes. Eh? Yes. Uh, this yes. is what I have seen. If you see an half caste child, daughter, moving around with this their children, mm -hmm. they don't they don't resist resist this these children. But when it come to a black, their attitude will mm -hmm. change. You understand. I didn't know. That, so Obama that, that is, is not a complete black man. That is in German. <laughs> they keep the racist inside them, but they don't bring it out. So no, Obama is not a complete black man. If he's a black man, he's president. Obama, Obama is not a black man, Oga. Okay? It's not a black man. The country where you are, they don't have racism in them. They have it, but they don't bring it out. They keep it inside their body. <laughs> it's not a black man, Oga. Okay? Obama is an half caste. Yes, say, say what you want to say. Yes. It's a half caste. That's what. But where he lives, the country, America, they don't consider him as a white, as a white, as, okay. as a white man. Okay. All right. Okay. But what I, what am I saying? In fact, what I'm saying is that give everybody a chance to express, uh, express whatever. Don't when they are talking, uh, 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 Peter Obi, don't shoot it down because you you mentioned just now when you were talking, you you refer to Peter, uh, Peter Obi. Maybe Peter Obi is they listen to you. I don't know. At least. He, uh, uh, I have a right to my opinion, sir. Yes, but why did I say this? Is it? Is it? I came out the other day. I said I called on Peter Obi. It's my elder brother. I said, look, those people that are supporting you, majority of them now. You have to caution them, otherwise, these people will turn to something else. You see, we have to be honest with ourselves. Why? 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 
and, you know, there. I was very happy to, uh, Obi came out. Obi disassociated, disassociated himself with them. See, he doesn't know them before. See, these people, see, they are being sponsored to be doing all this. He doesn't know them. He dis denounced them. Look, Tinubu, I will bring Tinubu video here out now. Democracy, I criticize him. You will not see a Europa man who will call me and tell me, ah, Tinubu, why you do this? I will bring a okay, tip now. Let's, okay, let's, hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. We have to be honest with our, our truth. May God help us. When you let talk about to be, hey, it's like you have committed yes, crime against humanity. Nice, eh? My brother, listen, let me ask you eh? one question. One simple question. Let me ask you one, just one question. Okay. What makes you think, what makes you think that think, uh, uh, Atiko would be the best president in Nigeria? Uh, what make me think I think will be president, sir, is... Okay, uh, yes. uh, well, number one, number one, uh, when he was a uh, controller general of uh, Nigeria Custom, I, 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 I have seen many people who have worked with him. He was a detribalized Nigeria. Those people who work with him can testify about him. Then, as I speak to you today, Atiku Abubakar, is the second largest employer of labor in the whole of Nigeria. If you go to River States, go and see companies that Atiku owns, thousands of Ikwere, Igbo, Ijo, Yoruba, yes. yes. all of them are working there, both their manager, different. It doesn't do, oh, I'm a Fulani, let me just uh, Fulanize everywhere. No, it didn't do that one. Atiku don't have a record of this tribal uh, agimony. He doesn't have it. When he was a and vice because, president... Because he, employed, because he employed a lot of people? Is that the reason No, no. no, he, no. He, he's a detabalized. He, 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 he employed from all over the country. He doesn't know whether Fulani should take over. He doesn't do that like what Buhari is doing. It's not like that. Number two, you see, Atiku was the former vice president. He's not the only person who has been vice president in Nigeria. But his own, in his own turn, in his own case, since the history of Nigeria, the most influential vice president we have ever had in Nigeria is Alaji Atiku Abubakar. The reason, if you see Atiku Abubakar, people that are supporting him, look at the primary they did in Abuja. In, uh, I think uh, the people of Anambra State, they voted for Atiku. All the delegates from Anambra, they, they opted for Atiku. All the delegates from Enugu, they opted for Atiku. So then let us be deceiving ourselves. The Igbo vote is what make Atiku to win that primaries. The whole Southeast, all of them voted for Atiku. Eh? Okay, then they voted then for then him. Then because then why did they then vote then for then him? Then because then the Igbo people have they have faith in him. They have faith in him. Yeah, you think during election, election, during mm. the presidential election, that Igbo will vote more to Atiku than Obi? Okay, let me so, let me clarify that voting. No, yeah, 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 uh, no, let, no. let me answer that question. Eh? In the southeast, eh, we have uh, PDP have two states. They have Enugu and Abia. APC have Imo and uh, and Eboni. Abga have Anambra. Right from the history of the democracy in 1999 dates, in presidential yeah. election. PDP is a stronghold of Anambra. Anambra will always be a stronghold for PDP there. So this election, and I have uh, contacted people from Enugu State. Uguayi will give that. So I'm optimistic that uh, Atiku will win Enugu State. Atiku will win. And will, what Atiku wants, out of the 100% of the vote, he needs 25% from Enugu. He doesn't need... Even though B win in Ogu State, but Atiku is looking for 25% of the votes. He still he doesn't want to even win it or B. So you what know, he wants, he wants 25% of the votes. You know, you know, what the constitution know. said, win 25% of the vote in 22 local governments. So there is no dream, there is no dream on earth. There, there is no way OB OB will want one percent of the vote in Kano. That one, forget that one. Okay, we don't we should not be dreaming. We should not be dreaming. Let us be, that, that, that is that is why we or show what I went to one. No, 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 no. Eh? Listen, you know what movement election is movement. Movement around the world, what is the movement?
So whatever movement was even stronger than Obiyo, how many votes did Shogure get? Got? Shogure, maybe we are not on ground then. Shogure movement. Shogure movement, eh? Eh? Was stronger than one of Obi. Okay. Even maybe you donate money for Shogure. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you believe that Shogure movement is stronger than Obi? In 2019. No, I'm talking now. I'm talking of now. No, so what is no B is not contest as far as I know, B is not contesting election. OB is yeah, OB is not contesting election. Um, as at I'm now, as at now, comparison. they have switched all those see people that let me tell you people I'm that are supporting OB. I'm talking no, the comparison is also show it's on social media. It's it's, it's on social, social media. media. That, we are in social media age. That is what give that's what give information. How many full I need you see writing the comment here now? Can you see? People that are writing comments, if you're talking about it, they are Igbo people. Just because they don't write comments does not mean that they are not working. See, Oga, I live in Nigeria before I came to Europe. We have to be optimistic yeah. and truthful with our life and ourselves. You see, we yeah. are talking about this social media, social media. The reason why the, the we are very familiar with the social media, because before I left Nigeria. I don't even have Facebook accounts. The exactly. people you see today, maybe you have a brother in Nigeria. Now, oh, go and open WhatsApp. I want to be calling you through this place. Go and put WhatsApp. These artists that, but the, the, these Northerners, they don't have like this. All their own, when they wake up, they carry radio announcer. They go to my village. You see many announcer people there. They put radio four o'clock. They listen to news. What happened in Kano today? In announcer language. They don't even have time for all those social media. When they want to do election, one of them will just enter vehicle and go back to north. Look, go and watch. Ask people outside people in your village. Anytime they want to do election, all those houses, all of them will go back to their village and vote. So what we are telling you now is that OB supporters, I, I am honest with myself, people that are supporting OB, they are on social media. They are not on grants in, 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 in Onugu. People that are saying OB, 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 look at what happened in the show states. The OB supporters, they, they say they have uh, thousands of voters. At the end of the day, OB scored 2,000. OB party scored 2,300 or something votes. Two, oh, yes, God, what do you want to say now? My brother, eh? don't, don't forget this. There is something you have to understand about this. Political movement. Yes. Political movement. Yes. 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 Look, if you are talking about movement, I agree with you, sir. If you are talking about movement, I am agree with you. You yeah, see, you see, you see, what, you see. Movement is what. That's that's what people. That's that's what changes system. And let us wait. You see, I am ready to support OB, but the, not OB. Sorry, I'm supposed supporting the Labour Party. But now the if OB was to really if OB was was contesting the election. If it actually was not this one is doing now, Obi could have started it two years ago. Two years ago, Oga, let us be honest. Yeah, he could, he could have started building his structure. But what yeah, Obi is doing now, now Obi, even, even if he doesn't win the com this election, the, the movie already started. There is a political landscape is changing in Nigeria. If you don't know that. Okay. Not, like said, Labour Party, we don't win anywhere in the north now. Which I don't know what you are saying, talking about. You movement or no I political know, movement? Where are you no, going to movement this? The people that are supporting will be on social media. They are from the southeast and from the two states. No, Yoruba people is we huh? doing all these things with you people. I swear to God of my land. Yoruba people are not interested no, in Obi. No, 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 Just no, say this no, truth. No, no, no. How many Yoruba people you say here yeah, talking about Obi Obi? Nobody. No, 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 no. OB is just being supported by the, uh, what do you call these people? By the Igbos and the uh, Igbos on social media and Bini Edo states. Have you seen people coming out from Khan to say OB, OB? When I even ask, I asked my friend, I told him, okay, don't know what I would do. I would, I would give another of my friend money to go to market, to live in Kano. When you mention OB, you mention OB in Kano, they don't know what is OB. They don't even know nothing like that. Yeah, but you, just personal hate. Obi I didn't hate Obi or that I am not insulting Obi. What I did to no, what I'm you, doing, I did it to when Shobore. When Shobore started, or guy, I will give you the video. When Shobore started, oh, like what Obi was doing now. Uh, in 2019, I came out. I yeah, told Shobore, I told Shobore, stop all these things you are doing. 
Everybody have right in Nigeria. Am I am I stopping him? I know. So what? Uh, am I stopping the build to contest? You are not stopping, but you are you are you are you are, you are killing his influence. Oga, okay. I am the one who Oga. Okay. The Igbo people have millions of population. Can I tell the Igbo people not to what what they have to do? I'm only telling my own opinion, telling the, the same thing I'm, I'm telling yes. the Yoruba people. Yes. I, I have the right to criticize any candidate. That is my, is the, uh, uh, what do you call the yes. 1999 constitution. This is my rights. Right. I am selling yes. this opportunity to, I told Tinubu, right. don't contest Tinubu, go and use this money you, to you help have, your people. You have right to do that. You, you also have right to run. Let him run. Am I holding him not to run? Am I a next chairman? Am I the INEC chairman of uh, Nigeria to tell him not to run? I'm always telling my people from here to say, don't, don't go and waste your votes. And I, no, I have that have right, right to say this. Have, you, you have, no, you don't have right to tell yeah, those they what they do. As, as no, I am not commanding them. I am, I am advising. I'm, okay, no. I might want to tell you not to. If I tell you not to vote for B, will you listen to me? Are you not going to do what is in your mind? But it will be on record that people like us came and tell our people from Edo State, please, those OB movements, it's a pure water movement. It doesn't hold grants. Don't, my Bini people, that's, don't that's, vote that's for a, a failure. That's, that's, don't that's labor your, in vain. Yes. I'm not imposing it on you. You can tell them now, say, oh, vote for OB. OB will win president on social media. No problem, Oga. Eh? You see, you see, uh, is it Sri Lanka or, or the, uh, there's a country where the, Exactly like the like the way you are saying they were saying, Oh, the movement is nothing. But the movement dragged the president of the nation out and the whole people and jacked the presidential house. And that's how, how powerful movement okay, the be. movement you are seeing in Sri Lanka. Okay, the movement you see in Sri Lanka, when they remove the yeah. president, the same president men are still in power. Yes. <laughs> men are still yes. there. So it's the same thing, huh? Yes. They, they will do nothing to yeah, him. Right. He will come back after two years or five oh, years. Oh. He, his oh, brother, come back the, the prime minister, <laughs> the prime minister of Sri Lanka, who was the president before he became prime he minister, is not living there. What the soul said that it is his own elder brother who, 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 who did all those things against him because he was disobeying his elder brother. They are they are born of the same father, the same mother. His elder brother is a former prime minister. He's still there in Sri Lanka. He didn't run. He's there, living yeah, there. Oh, this, oh, this one is not that right. revolution. We don't we have answers. We are talking about revolution. The answers that happen in Nigeria doesn't happen in the north. Even we're talking about answers, they were even looking at you. See, we are not we are not the same memory. Our memory is a revelation for Peter B. Use go and look at answers. Do we have answers in Sokoto? Do we have answers in Zafara? Eh? Oga, Oga, I am entitled to my opinion. I am not insulted to be. All those videos I am bringing out, I am saying, oh, Obi, look at what Wanz Ruki said. I, I expect by now, Obi, uh, Wanz Ruki, Obi could have arrested Wanz Ruki. So Wanz Ruki, you lie against me, I will arrest you. Let us go to court. Obi refused to go to court. or arrest Wanz Ruki. Yeah. Yeah, when Shawara came out and told Obi that, look, oh, when she would have came out, okay, she would have came out and told OB, look, you managed 13 months strike. When they were asking she would be, what is your achievement? He said he pays, he pays his, uh, what? Oh okay. God. Okay. People who know, who know the OB, they will tell you about OB is just like Loki Binedion. I don't know. I don't see what people say. Loki Binedion did do nothing. They do states. OB did nothing in Anambra state. Okay, why can't you go and verify? What did Obi did in another brass state? Nothing. My brother, let me leave you now. Okay, somebody is calling me. We'll talk. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Oga, sir, I am not here to talk about Obi. That book will be here. That is not really where we are here. So this I have come to. <laughs> so Obi, Obi, you and your group, I am not fighting anybody. I'm only advising the good people of those states not to vote for you. Because I don't want them to labor in vain and waste their votes. That is it. So let us come to oh God, just come spoil my by education. Therefore, this, is... uh... hi, oh God, you just can't spoil my history class now. Nah, it will be matter. 
Hey! Oh, I'm gonna be sorry for doing do that. Hey, yo. Ah. Oh, God, wait, wait. Oh, God, are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> kill me with OB. It's useless to OB matter. Eh? Now nah, Mugus now, nah. the Mugus we get for Nigeria, and then it's about to be. <laughs> so let us go, let us go, let us go. Okay. Hey, people don't, people want to listen to the history now, they want to hear my Oh God, you can't use OB, it will be, it will be concerned me, concerned it will be now, eh? Oh God, not be so now, nah. we talk history, you just will be content spoiler in our history class. Eh? Come on. You see what we were saying just now, eh? When Oba Abini went to Ilefe, hi, it's the name of the Typhoon. When Oba Abini went to Ilefe, only Oba Abini went to Ilefe, only Oba Abini took his hand to where his father had very, very, can I bear it? Take him there. After they have come out from there, came out from there, they now, he, he sits the Oba Abini grants. It's not telling the above. You say, look, this is the history of your land, and your family. Look what Oni Fife was saying. In this note, I want to present a gift from us of Odudu to you, for us to remember our ancestor, our common ancestor, Oromio, who was a prince in Ife, went to Benin Kingdom to be the first king in Benin, came back to Ife to be the sixth Oni of Ife, and they started having offspring. And to the glory of God, we are the offspring of our ancestors. We have never recorded in history this day. So, Oga, you have just spoiled my history class. So. You see, this video where Oba Benif was going fair, the Nisi Dan or Romeo, their father, he says, Now they're born, I'm saying that they are son. I just, let me use my language and I'll finish. I'm here, I'm all you fair. And I have my way, Lareo, my beware. I might care soon, they will not be ma. Yeah, me affair, only if you go back beneath one hour. He was there because he was the greatest hunter ever recorded in history. And by virtue of that, we want to present this spiritual gift to you that actually connotes our ancestral background, King Romeo, that became king in Benin, became king in Oyo. Many a high, yeah, one of the king give me leaf. Sorry, king give me binion of your king give you. They say, become two king in these places. See, oh my god, common ancestral issue. In this note, I want to present a gift from us of what to do to you for us to remember our ancestor, our common ancestor, Oromio, who was a prince in Ife, went to Benin Kingdom to be the first king in Benin. Came back to Ife to be the sixth on of Ife, and they started having offspring. And to the glory of God, we are the offspring of our ancestors. We have never recorded in history this the, the altar that he was then because he was the greatest. So let's just uh, leave it like that. Our car just pull our history class. So we try today. Thank you very much. Uh, thank God, they already quick me go further. So tomorrow, uh, we'll talk about uh, these very guys. Thank you very much. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm so happy. But this one I come. Wa magu wa magu enjoy history, man. Eh, eh, yo. Eh, eh, yo, yo, yo. And don't let me enjoy my history class.
in my city. Read African history. Read of Benin City, B E N I N C I T Y. Up to 21 years ago, they used human beings for sacrifice. Human beings for sacrifice. When God raised me, He said the government will not stop it but you. I said, Who? I said, my grandparents are involved. He said, you will start from there. You start from your house. I said, they will kill me. He said, not when you are in me. For your life is hidden Christ. And Christ is hidden God. So anybody who wants to kill you has to kill God first. Then kill Christ before killing you. (laughs) Can you say hallelujah? Those of you who are looking for vocabularies, you are looking for vocabularies. You will not find it tonight, but you find life. Amen. Amen. The kingdom of God is not in grammar. Yes. It's in power. power. Yes. Say power. power. Say power. power. It's time for the kingdom people to wake up. And demon leaders will come and say, And you say hallelujah. The Bible did not say run from the devil. He shall run from you. He said resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Say hallelujah. So I said to God. Do you say I can cast that devil? He said yes. Do you say that that is my job? He said yes. I said fine. I went to. I went to the roundabout. Of my city. I fasted seven days and the Lord told me to go around the roundabout. I don't know what you call roundabout here, but in English we call it roundabout. <laughs> huh? Intersec- intersection. The center of your city. Downtown. You know downtown? In Africa it's now uptown. He said, go around that downtown, the heart of the city, 14 times. The last night, the 14th day, declared that the city is now taken over by God. And I knew it is risky not to take risk. (laughs) So he said, how are you going to do it? I said, by the Holy Ghost. I was the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. First night, second night, the third night, about 2 a.m. when I was walking around, it starts at 12 midnight, ending 6 a.m. every day. Just walking, speaking in tongues, walking, speaking in tongues, walking, speaking in tongues. At 3 a.m. the third day, heavy fear came on me. I was shivering, my head was swollen, and the devil said, this is the last night you will march. And I remember, there is power in the name of Jesus. I took my Bible, I burst in tongues, I said, God, you didn't tell me you are going to kill me at the runabout. You told me to march around that the wall will fall down. And the spirit began to leave. At 6 a.m. I was able to take my bicycle, go home. And give thanks. And I said, no more. (laughs) Quarter to five. Fifteen minutes before five. God said, tonight, you have one hour more. You are going back tonight at, you are going back 12 midnight today. I summed up courage. I took my bicycle. Before I got to the roundabout. There were several sacrifices of goat and dog cut into pieces with my name written on the plates. For the first time, my bishop, I heard, fear not. Everybody say, fear not. Fear not. Now, if you are told that your name is used, 
That's good. But for you to see your name used, that's horrible. I looked at this plate, my name. I looked at this plate, my name. And I realized the Bible says that devil is under our feet. So I marched on them and spoke in tongue and spoke in tongue and spoke in tongue. The fourth day, the fifth day, this day, the seventh day, I announced Benin City, Benda State, Nigeria is free. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, what did you do? That's all I did. The head of the witchcraft in the town died. The third week, the chief of our court in the town died. In nine days, there were over 30 dead of the men that were in charge of the power of darkness in my town. Today, 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 when you say, Benson Idahosa. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking on behalf of the union, a representative of the president in Benin City, Uyi Osunde said the utterances in the live video on social media by the said Murphy came as a rude shot to them as he has never been their member at any point in time. He said the Edo community in Germany holds the Benin monarch about Eware II in high esteem and can never descend so low to challenge the monarch's authority. Mr. Osunde said the press briefing became necessary to put the record straight to the general public that the members of the union in Germany has nothing to do with the said Uyi Murphy and the general public should be aware that the president of Edo community in Germany is Ejodame Christian and not Uyi Murphy. We do not know or have any connection to the above named person. He is not a president of our community as he has said in one of his online presentation. Therefore, any person who has anything to do with him, including the passing of insult on the Oba of Benin, His Royal Majesty Oba Ewai II, will have himself or herself to blame. Anyone who is an enemy to the palace of the Oba of Benin is an enemy to our community and the entire Edo state as a whole. The spokesperson said they are using the opportunity of the press briefing to communicate the Edo state government, the police and other relevant authorities. In a recent online video, the said Uyi Murphy, who portrayed himself as the president of Edo community in Germany, among other things, challenged the authority of the Benin monarch, Omonoba Nedo Ukwa Polo Polo, Oba Eware II, a situation that the community in Germany Following Sean Ali, a professor of morbid anatomy, was the first civilian governor of the defunct Benda State, now a Do and Delta State. He was elected governor in 1979 as a member of the Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN. Professor Ali governed the state between 1979 and 1983. He was defeated in the polls to return for second term in office by Dr. Samuel Osaibobo Ugbemudia of the National Party of Nigeria, NPN. Ali was born in Idoani, Ondo State, on 22 September 1929. After childhood education in between Bendel and Ondo States, Ali went to to the School of Agriculture, Ibadan, 1948, and the School of Medical Technology at the Oyo Hospital, Ibadan, 1953 to 1960. Later, he obtained an MBBS and went further to the United Kingdom for a postgraduate course in neuropathology at the University of London, 1961 and 1966. Professor Ali got a DC pathology degree and went ahead to study at the University of Birmingham from 1971 to 1974. The professor was a lecturer at the University of Ibadan, 1966 to 1969, and was a senior lecturer at the Ahmed Bello University, Zaria, from 1969 to 1974. From 1974 to 1979, Ali was professor of morbid anatomy and head of the Department of Pathology at the University of Benin, Benin City. When Professor Ambus Ali left office in 1983, he retired to his family house in Emaudo, Ekbuma, a southwest local government area, where he continued with his medical practice in his private clinic. 
However, after the military government of Major General Muhammadu Buhari took over power, Professor Ambrosali was sentenced to 100 years in prison in 1984 by a military tribunal for alleged misappropriation of 983,000 naira in funds for a road project. The sentence was later reviewed and reduced to seven years. During this period, his health deteriorated while in jail. Fate, however, smiled on Professor Ambrosali when on the 13th of February 1988, when he was released from Agodi Prison in Ibadan, Oyo State, thanks to the unparalleled magnanimity and philanthropic dispositions of His Excellency Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawa Ibnajan the Ismail Benin, who graciously paid the fine amount of one million naira. Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawa Ignatian did not stop at paying the fine for the former governor's release. He also deployed his private jet to Ibadan, where the late Dr. Samuel Osaibovo Ubamudia, a former governor of the defunct Bendel and Midwest states and late Chief Tony Aneni, the Yasele of Iceland, represented the Ismail Benin in escorting Professor Ambus Ali to Benin with a mammoth crowd led by the Ismail himself, gave the former governor a rousing welcome at the Benin airport. Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawa Ibnijian thereafter hosted Professor Ali, members of his family and political associates to a grand reception at his Garden of Eden residence, GR Opening City, amidst cheers. <laughs> of incarceration as a continuation of my years of service and my widow's might, might contribution to the future of our beloved country. I bear no grudge against anyone. Professor Ali, I thank God for you, no matter whatever happens. My true advice is to you that whoever wishes you, whether silent or not, you will admit everybody that comes to you. Don't let drugs for anybody, whether you come to drink, whether you help them before they help you. Just listen to God. Let God work with marvelous way. Your concern is to give 100% to your being well. That would be your main concern. And whoever that is going with you, main concern is that they less trouble than I think. As I said, I have done this out of humanitarian matter. There is nothing tied. There is no connection whatsoever. There is nothing at all. It's all humanitarian. And then, the most important thing, it may be you in a different form. May God not let any of us experience such a thing. But in a different form, we all have to be cautious. But my motto is that as soon as I live and alive, no Edo uh, speaking person will suffer during my life. Also at the ceremony, the late Esogma Opening Kingdom Chief Robert Isayamu prayed for Professor Ambrosali and Chief Gabriel Osawa Ibnijian. Other dignitaries who spoke at the grand reception include late Al Haji Ewa Idirisu, the Okokbalagbe of Okbala, and late Mr. Sonny Igerabo Omogbe, who showered encomiums on the Ismail Benin for his kind gesture. 
want to, in fact, sincerely thank God for giving us all of us to see this day. Uh, we are happy that you are back. I know that that is made possible because of God. Because if God did not go into the heart and the conscience of Chief religion, we will not think of the yes. Secondly, we want to thank him. In fact, words are really inadequate to thank him. Thank him. You see, the only thing that wherever you look, if you have searched the dictionary or everywhere, the greatest word will be thank you. Yes. Because uh, whatever language you want to use, it will end up by thank you. Thank you. This is why it is a thank you we are saying to you, yeah. our great chief. Uh, especially with traditional rulers. Yes, I'm so if we continue to go from Jalisco to Jalisco, Professor Ali, you are very lucky that you come from this part of the country where people think of others, where we are our brother's keeper. Therefore, we have to thank God for you too, that you are lucky that you happen to come from this part of the country. As former governor, late Professor Folorun Shon Ali would be remembered for expanding educational facilities and giving out the highest bursary of 600 naira, about $1,000 at the time for students in accordance with UPN Education Manifesto. He built and equipped hospitals and made access free. He also built housing estates and roads. He established Bender State University, Ekboma, which was renamed in his honor as Ambrose Ali University AAU Ekboma by the Lucky Benedictine Administration after his death. Professor Ambrose Folorunsho Ali died on 22 September 1989 on his 60th birthday. He, along with other permanent Nigerians, were granted presidential pardon by President Muhammadu Buhari on the 8th of April 2020, that is, 32 years after his release from prison. So why that is why we are in the Supreme Court, for them to tell us whether the Oba of Benin has that power to go and tamper with our edit that was signed into law. You didn't invite us, you didn't tell us, you didn't let us know, we didn't know until we will install our current king. Then you say we have committed an offense. All the previous Ujamians we have installed, we have never taken permission from the Oba of Benin. Rather, before you install the Oba of Benin, you must come to us. Because part of the treaty is that before an Oba is installed, the Ogame has a role to play. But in the treaty, the Oba has no role to play in the installation of Ogame. You can see the difference. The Ogame has, has a, an important role to play before an Oba becomes an Oba of Benin. But in the case of Ogame, the Oba has no role. Because it's a visitor, it's a stranger. But today, a stranger has forged documents, he's not the original person. Fighting the owners of the land, chasing us about. They're even trying to kill us. We are hiding. Can just imagine what a, a, a legal document can do. Use a legal, just like the Nigerian Constitution. You have used the Nigerian Constitution now to turn the South, South, South. You have used the Nigerian Constitution to turn the South, 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 marginalize them, oppress them. Any attempt for the South, South, South to raise up the, to, to say, no, this you have been to me is wrong. They say you are committing a treasonable offense. That's the situation we are finding ourselves. Is it judgments or any? Well, uh, the, the Supreme, that was the appeal court ruling. The appeal court ruling said that, yes, Dogami is a recognized traditional institution. There's an edit quoted by the appeal court. But the appeal court is saying that that, that edit has been tampered with. Without telling us what, who tampered with it. That's what, what the Supreme Court will explain to us. Who tampered with Dogami edit? Who did recognize us? And you didn't tell us, before you did recognize a traditional ruler, you can only depose a traditional ruler. You can't repeal a traditional stool. The worst you can do to a traditional ruler, you depose him and get another person. In this case, you didn't depose any Ogame. Rather, you, I, I, do, I wouldn't even call it repeal because according to the edit, that edit is irrepealable. It is tied to the 1999 constitution. 
So the question we want the Supreme Court to tell us now, in an edit that is tied to 1999 Constitution, can it be tampered with? And if it can be tampered with, who can do it? Under what condition will such... Well, we don't know. Our lawyer told us that the case is supposed to come up today. That is why we came. But uh, fortunately, the case has been adjoined. And they will give our lawyer a new date and we'll come back. The case continues. The thing is, let me, let me tell you a brief history of my family so that you understand what is actually happening. Today, what is today known as Vinicity uh, was started by my great-great-grandfather called Pa Ogiso. He was the, was the Ogiso of Igodomigodo. He, he ruled Igodomigodo Kingdom from... The Ogisos ruled Igodomigodo Kingdom from 9th century AD to about 11th to 12th century AD before the, the Oduduwa dynasty came and invaded the Ogiamians. During the invasion, it was so bloody. At a certain point, there was peace. During that peace, the agreement was signed, which is now called the Ekupaga Treaty. That Ekupaga Treaty, then the reigning Ugiso, then Ugiso Irebo, leased a particular portion of Igodo Migodo to the current Oba Bini, where they are staying now. That is what that is where the Ugiso, that is what the Ugiso gave to the current the current Oba where they are staying now, and they have been there living with us peacefully until about. Uh, by 1968, the then military administrator of the Midwestern state granted, recognized Ogame and the Oba Obini on the same traditional status as king. And we have been living peacefully. But unknown to us that the Oba Obini, knowing the implication of putting the Ogame and the Oba Obini on the same traditional status, decided to falsify our records and remove the Ogame title from the Gazette, unknown to us. We didn't know. So, 2015, there was a vacuum in our family. We decided to install a new king, which is the current Ugyame Arisko. Then, the current Oba took us to court that we have committed an offense. We said, no, we have not committed any offense. Before we know it, they sent our king to prison. They made it difficult for us to bail our king. Then we went to the high court. The high court saw our case and released and released our king. So they went to Court of Appeal. Where the Court of Appeal gave ruling. The Court of Appeal gave ruling saying that yes, the Ogame stool is recognized. The same status of the Oba of the name. But what they are constrained, their constraint is that the Ogame stool in the Gazette has been tampered with. Who tampered with it? They didn't tell us. So that when I would not say okay, we, are, we now went to Supreme Court to appeal to find out from the Supreme Court whether a traditional stool as great as that of the Ugyame of Utantan could be tampered with by one single person without letting us know. That's why we are in the Supreme Court. No more noise. And we have said this repeatedly. We are not interested in the stool of the Oba Obini. Rather, the Oba Obini is dragging our coveted stool. Because the more we exist, the more we serve as a threat to them. Because they have criminally falsified our document. Now they are using it to punish us. We are not criminals. They, rather, they are the criminals fighting us. So, and we have said it, and we say it again. The, all of, the current Oba, uh, Oba um, Ewari should leave us alone. He knows the truth. He knows we are not dragging him. We are not dragging his stool. He is the one fighting us. He is the one dragging our stool. And that is it. And we have told Benis Ranger. They came to Igodomigodo land, invade, invaded us, and forcefully took occupation of where they are staying today. We are not bothering them. We have allowed them to stay. Now, as we have allowed them to stay, they also they went and forged document. They are criminals. Now they are forged document now calling us criminals. So we are now in the Supreme Court to tell to tell us whether a particular person, because he was privileged, he was having relationship with the previous gov uh, governor, could falsify our records to make us criminals. Whether we are not criminals, they are the criminals. So this is what we are, that's why we are the Supreme Court. Unfortunately, the Supreme Court, they didn't meet today. Uh, they will communicate a new date to our lawyer. The Ogiamesh II is, is dead, started 9th century ago. It started as uh, Ogiso. It started as Ogiso from 9th century. By 11, by 11, when Ogiso Erebo 
was the, was the Giso of Igodomigodo. When Oba when the Oba Romia came to fight us, then Ugise Rebo was shouting, telling the Benins who were supporting him, ignorantly say, Look, I'm your ba if you go to me go to Ugi, I'm your go to me go to. That was why the two now converted from Ugiso to, to Ugi Amir. So the Ugiso stool is uh, nine century to date. You can calculate that. It's an old stool. So and, and, uh, uh, all, and all traditional stool cannot be, cannot be put under limitation. It's a traditional stool, not a honorary stool. So we are the Supreme Court to, uh, for them to tell us whether a particular person has a right to just tamper with an edit that was signed by an indigenous of the state, the late Dr. Oso Bermuda. It's an indigenous of, 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 of Benin. He knows. We didn't lobby. We didn't send anybody to go and beg him to recognize us. They know that we are the owners of Benin. And they recognize us as king. They put us, Obamuda signed it and put Ogiamia and Oba Benin on the same pedestal statue. We are not disturbing them. Although as at that time of rulership, there was nothing coming to the, the only recognition traditional ruler had then was just men, uh, government invite you when they have special dignitaries. No salary, no allowance. So the previous Ogiamia were, like were, 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 were not really serious. They were busy farmers, illiterate. So the Oba Benin now, the Obas, Previous robbers who came from a more civilized environment cashed in on it and decimated us. And two, two, the previous government too were not comfortable sitting in the midst of invaders, even though they have been recognized that God, these are invaders, they are criminals. They forced them way through to Benin to, to, to Igodomigodo. And don't mind you during the slave trade area, this, this, the previous robbers were capturing our people, sending them to slave. So Ogamets too were afraid to go and meet in the meeting with them. He doesn't know whether they want to carry him as slave and give to the white people who came. So they use this psychological warfare. The Ogamese now are beginning to stay away. One, there was no salary. Two, there was no uh, government recognition. It just merely, they have a function. They invite you, you come, you go. So our previous Ogamese were farmers.